How come you had those people in Greece and to a certain extent in Rome thinking about the world, thinking about nature, biology, all this stuff, and suddenly you had this diving into darkness, you know, that happened during the Middle Ages, especially the early Middle Ages. Well, what happened there, and there aren't just one or two explanations, there are quite a few of them, but the most important one, at least to me, is the ascension of the Catholic Church, especially through St. Augustine. St. Augustine, when he decreed that if you want salvation for your soul, you better stop questioning the works of nature. You should not fall into temptation to understand how God created the world. You just have to accept the fact that it happened this way. Then he basically stopped the questioning about nature, or he tried to. So it wasn't interesting. If you wanted to be in heaven forever, you basically should stop being a scientist or a natural philosopher. You should just, you know, pray to God for salvation. And um, that idea went through the Middle Ages and indeed people stopped in the Western world asking these questions. If it weren't for the Arabs, you know, at that time the Muslims were the ones that picked up the Greek texts and the Roman texts, translated it to Arabic and to Hebrew, and started to carry the torch, so to speak, you know. So where Ptolemy, 150 years after Christ, was the last of the Greek sort of thinkers, philosophers, scientists, the Arabs picked that up, developed Ptolemy's ideas of the cosmos, and improved on it, actually. As they invaded Europe in the 8th and 9th century, you know, the Iberian Peninsula, Spain and Portugal, parts of Italy, they brought with them this collapse.